This is a review of last night's Motown um, for American Idol. It's the top ten. I thought the Motown Week did pretty well. They do it basically every year, so I was expecting it to come up sometime. And um, I thought Smokey was a very good mentor. He said a lot of positives that made sense, not just they were great, they were wonderful, I loved them, like he kind of did specific things and he wasn't completely critical because there's no point in that, it doesn't really help them grow at this point because they only see them like, it seems like the day ever, the day before, I may be wrong, I have no clue, that's just a guess, but um, as far as the contestants went, Matt, um, I thought he was very fun and it was a little sexy and I thought it was perfect, perfect for the Motown evening, I think he captured the theme. And I can see why that AI chose to use him first. And um, I thought the start on the piano, get up, walk around, sing sexy, let's get it on really worked for him. And I don't think anybody else in the competition could have really pulled it off. And I'm so glad Adam didn't try. So I think he picked the right song and he picked the right format to do it in. Chris was next, and I really, really liked the performance. I thought he brought something different and new to the song. And considering everybody's heard that song about 12,000 times, you know, it was kind of refreshing. You know, I think that's what the judges are talking about when they say, do it your own way. I thought that he really embodied that and really did a great job. Scott, I thought it was strong at the beginning, and then it just kind of petered off. I don't know. I kind of agreed with Simon on the whole performances. I mean, it wasn't, he's not a bad singer. It's just he's not very versatile, and it just, it was kind of, I mean, it was good in the beginning, but not a favorite of mine at all. Um, Megan, she's almost so wrong and difficult that she's right, in a way. And she is gorgeous, but that song last night was horrible. And she's got that unique tone to her voice, which I can't ever decide if I really like or not. And so, when she did it, it was, it was good, but I mean, it was, the song was way wrong. And I think she should just embrace the tone of her voice and not, I don't know, try to belt it out like she did. I think Anoop did soul very well. I think that he really was almost a little too soft in areas, and the background singers overpowered him. But I thought his higher range sounded really good. I was impressed with his um, performance. I thought it was really soft and sweet, and he kind of needed that after um, last week and then the Beat It performance. So... Michael, he's not good, but he isn't bad. He's just kind of like, eh. Like, I could really kind of care less about him. So, he's my pick to go home tomorrow. I don't really remember what he's saying. I don't really remember what it sounded like. Oh, well. Sorry. Um, Lil, I try to like her every week, and I just don't. That's just me, personally. I'm pretty typical in who I pick each season. And um, I've had the same kind of style favorites each time. So I can respect the other people. Like, I respect Lil. She's definitely a great singer. But it's just, it, I, I, it's not a favorite of mine. And Adam, he was very smart, or the producers were very smart. I don't know who suggested his outfit change and kind of style mix up. But they, I mean, he did a great job. It's still, of course, not a favorite of mine, but that's just a personal opinion. I know a lot of people like him. I know a lot of people hate him. So I think we're just going to have to see how that goes. Um, Danny, I wasn't really highly impressed with him. I don't really remember what it sounded like. I kind of zoned out. Um, his voice is great. He's got a great voice, but he just doesn't have that draw you in factor. You know, I don't want to just sit in front of the TV and stare at him. Not his attractiveness, but he doesn't bring anything exciting to the stage, I don't think, even when he's trying. Or maybe he's trying too hard. I don't know. I think he's definitely one to watch, and I will keep an eye out for him to, you know, kind of pick it up this later in the season. But right now, he's not doing anything for me. And Allison... She's kind of the same way as Danny. Like, she's good. She's really good, but she doesn't have anything that really draws me into the performance. And that's probably a personal thing. That's probably just my own musical choice. And, um, but I can definitely respect her because she's got a great voice and she's got a lot of power behind it. And, um, since I didn't get my review up last night, I'll go ahead and talk about what happened on the results show. 
I fast forward through most of it, all the duets and the Ruben Stutter. I didn't like him the first time. I don't like him now, just personally, and um, get right to the results. I was very disappointed in the bottom three. Two of them were just fine with me, um, Michael and, uh, and um, I had a mind blank, Michael and Scott. Um, that was just fine. That was Those were two of the ones I wanted in the bottom three, and then Matt made me sad, of course, because he's one of my all-time favorites this season. And Michael's gone, and that makes me happy because I think that he was just getting outperformed each night. And it kind of depresses me when I see somebody get outperformed like that um, on a weekly basis. You know, he really never had his time to shine, but I don't think, I think he peaked a long time ago. So I think it was his time to go. And I promise I picked him last night. I wasn't just correcting it for myself. So um, I miss Alexis Grace. I still feel kind of bad for not voting for her last week, but um, that's about it. Thank you, guys.